Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So today, I have all these blades. These are 16 by 19 blade V7s, four and three eighths. I have seven of them and that's all I have in stock right now of these. So I have a customer who on an annual basis, yearly, uh, who wants three of these. Now, he doesn't care if they're off too much or they're too head heavy, the balance is off, or they're too heavy or too light. All he wants is for three of them to be matched or as close to matched as possible. Meaning I don't have to mess with it. I don't have to customize it. All I have to do is find them three frames that are as close to the weight, the swing weight and the balance as they can get. Now in an ideal world, I probably wouldn't have to do this, right? I would probably just pick three and know, know and be confident that it's going to be to spec, right? Meaning same weight, same balance, same swing weight. But from me doing this for 30 years, I know that won't be true and it won't come out that way, um, especially with Wilson. Okay, so let's get started so i took the placard off of each one there's seven here and i've numbered each one all right i usually write the specs on here when i'm done uh, but today i have i'm going to put it on the board too uh, okay let's, let's go with balance on the balance board number one move it over so you guys can see a bit Okay, that's 320 millimeters, number one. Okay, two. Three twenty three twenty four. Number three. Number three is 320. Oops, I just flipped the other. Okay. All right. Number four. I'm just going to put it at the 320 mark and see if we're anywhere close to that. Three seventeen. Number five is three twenty. Well, at least I have three that still matches. Oh my gosh. 
What is going on here? That's 315. Number seven. Three twenty. Okay, I got one, two, three. I got four to work with still. Okay. All right, let's hit the scale so we can look at the swing weight and the total weight. I'm gonna go backwards. Number seven's on top now. So number seven for total weight. Number seven, three oh seven. Point five. Number six. Three ten. Nine point Seven point five, three oh seven point five. Okay, we'll start back on number one with swing weight. Three hundred. Two ninety six. Oh, 
three. Six. All right, let's analyze this. All right, so let's see what we came up with. Um, I only have seven to work with this go around. Um, sometimes, like in the past, I've had as many as 12, um, and I've ordered even six more. So I've had like you know, 18 to work with uh, sometimes, and I barely get three that are close. So they're kind of all over the map um, as kind of what you see here with this one. So first I look at the weight um, and I, I take out the heaviest, which is gonna be number six. So 310 is a little high on it, uh, you're definitely gonna feel that weight. Uh, swing weight's a little on the lower side. Balance is kind of on the lower side too. Okay, so number six uh, won't, won't work on this, this one. Um, I look next at the next heaviest one, which is 309, 3095. That's kind of within realm. Um, I look at swing weight and it looks like, I'm, I'm just trying to see what I can work with uh, here. And then the final test is like in my hand to see uh, if, if they feel the same. Because uh, that's the most important. Uh, it, it's not always about uh, analyzing the numbers. It, it, a lot of it has to do with how it feels in the hand too. So looking at the numbers of swing weight and balance, um, I think one is there comparable to three because I'm looking at those two and those two, right? And then Got 320 there. This is in realm at 303. Still 320. 135. All right. How does seven look? Seven's on the lighter side there. Um, but, eh, you know what? Seven will be a, a question mark because we're gonna, it's going to have to come down the feel now. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to pick up. So this is number seven, and that's the question mark. Six is done. Okay, this is five. All right. Five and three. Five and three. One, three, five, these three right here. Okay, so what I'm trying to feel for now is how the racket goes through the air. Is it too heavy in the throat? Is it too he handle heavy, like in the top part? Or is it too top heavy? So where do I feel the weight distribution as I swing? So that feels lighter than this to me. And this is number three. 
and this is 299 on the swing and this is 300 but the the weight distribution is a little different with this one i could feel that this is there's more weight in in this area whereas that one did it's kind of balanced out number five Picking back number one again. Number five. So, so number five and number three feel the same to me. The weight distribution is kind of in the like here area. Like I can feel the when I throw, sorry, when I throw the racket through, I can feel the weight of this um, before I feel the weight of this. So, whereas I like, I personally like the feel of this more um, because it, it's kind of more distributed uh, throughout here. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take number seven now, which is my question mark, and see where this lands. Yeah, definitely these two match. Number seven again, I'm swinging. Number one, I'm swinging. If I had to choose the matches, it'd be number seven. So, so if I had to choose, I would go seven and not five. Uh, not one, I mean, not one. Sorry, we're gonna go five, three, three, five, seven. So they, what I feel in the the um, when I swing it is the balance is there. The balance is there, even though the swing weight isn't quite there. Um, it 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 kind of comes through the air the same way. So that's what I'm looking for now. I know that I have a winner with this one and this one. I know that. This one, um, it's close. I mean, it's so close. It's so close. I personally, if I was choosing myself from, for me, uh, I like the feel of one more for me. Um, uh, and th this isn't quite as, um, to me, it felt smoother. It smelt, felt smoother cutting through the air. But, um, but yeah, three, five, and seven is what I would uh, turn in to that person. Uh, I would probably have him swing them and tell me how he feels. Because each individual person uh, will feel a little bit different. So my customer um, is going to get these three sticks, number three, number five, and number seven. And I'm going to let him tell me if he feels what I feel. Now, if he tells me I like three and five, then I'm going to have to order another six in, in the three eights, and see if I can obtain uh, what I got here. Now, if he tells me I like, you know, seven more, and I don't like three and five, then I'll have to go through the exercise again. Um, and if he tells me he likes one like I do, 
then I'll have to test number two. Eh. Then I'll probably have to get more rackets, actually. I'll probably, because, yeah, I'll probably have to get more rackets. So I don't know about you guys, but um, during my times of playing with Wilson, um, I would carry three rackets at a time most of the time. And I would have one favorite. There would be one favorite that would always be my go-to racket. And it just felt smoother. You know, just like the one that I had, the number one, right? It just felt right in my hand. Like the balance was good. The swing weight was good. Um, and it, it just felt good. So that's the one I always picked up. Until I broke my string on that. Uh, did I go to the next racket, right? Um, that was back in the day. So, um, but now I wait and balance them and, you know, do all that stuff. But, uh, but back in the day, I always had one favorite, right? How do you guys feel? Do you have one favorite of your Wilsons or your rackets? Um, let me know. But... I go through this exercise, you know, Jesus, over a dozen times a year with different people wanting three matched rackets, all right? All right, if you have any questions, shoot them over. If you got any comments, shoot them over. Uh, thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.